Hello, welcome to another beer review. I've been wanting to try this beer for I reckon about five years or so since I first really got into watching reviews, more American side. Um, I thought, oh, that sounds nice, and then I've heard other people have it here in the UK, and they say, oh, it's fantastic, blah de blah. Um, and then heard about a year ago that there must be it's very hard to find this beer now in the UK. Anyway, you already know what it is. This is Founders Breakfast Stout. And it's coming in at 8.3% ABV, 60 IBUs. Um, I purchased this at the bottle shop in Canterbury. So, so yeah, I, I, I saw it and I was like, wow, I've got to buy it. You know, it's one of them beers that I very rarely see. Um, anyway, this has got a Best Buy the 26th of May of 2017. So, I'm reviewing this on, well, now the 19th of August of 2017. Um, I don't know when this was bottled. Um, I, I'm guessing it is probably the back end of 2016. I don't know. If anyone knows, put it put it down below. Unless I find it when the beer's out of the bottle. Anyway, I'm on a hangout at the moment, so yeah, I haven't had a Founders beer for a while. Um, I've got a few coming up. Well, another one, but I'm doing a, a vertical. Um, I'll be doing the KBS this year's version, the last year's version, so that'll be coming up. There's a little bit of smoke. Yeah, so nearly ten past midnight. Let's have a coffee beer. Let's try and generate a little bit of a head, but I do like it when it get a true representation of the colour. I do like that. A lot of people say, oh, you can't smell it now. Who cares? Whatever. I don't. That's all that matters. I'm drinking it. Shut up. Great. Right. It's a just over a finger of, yeah, tan coloured head. Not too dark, but yeah, kind of a, a nice uh, kind of mocha colour. Into the light then. Jet black. Absolutely jet black. Seeing reflections all around, there's no light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass or nothing like that. Jet black, so hopefully it hasn't faded a lot. This has been in the fridge. Um, I purchased this, I can't remember. I think it was in my vlog, one of my vlogs, so I then went to Canterbury to meet Jake. Ooh. Dark fruits, cherries. Not picking up a massive amount of coffee on the aroma at the moment, but it's not long out of the fridge, so a lot of people are like, oh, why did you put it in the fridge? There was a spell earlier in the year, and it was really, really hot, and then someone mentioned to me, you should get all these in the fridge. I'm like, oh, okay. So I had not much in the fridge and loads in the cupboard, stouts, that kind of thing, barley wines, you know, that sort of jazz. So I put them all in the fridge, um, and I didn't want to leave it too much longer, because it's already out of date. There's a slight kind of sweetness of like almost you know it's, it's not strawberry laces but that kind of thing that you get black currant maybe a black currant pie kind of aroma there's a little bit of coffee there but Maybe it'll it'll change as it warms up a little bit, hopefully. And we'll see what it's got on the taste. So let's give it a go. Cheers. Oh. Wow. Wow. Wow wow. Silky smooth. None of that, 8.3% ABV, not picking that up at all. Look at the alcohol legs on this thing. Wow. Blueberry, a nice kind of milky latte flavour. Very smooth. I think the ageing may have helped a bit, I don't know. I've never had one of these fresh, it's the first time I've had this beer, so. 
which is why I've never had it fresh. So. God, that's good. Wow, that is good. That is pretty damn good. I mean, I don't get to try a lot of these barrel-aged beers in America, although I've had a few over the last couple of years since reviewing. I don't know how you guys in America put this with all, all the amazing barrel age kind of beers you get over there back up to it it's really creamy almost yogurt kind of top to the to, 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 top to the beer I've not even had a drink this is my second beer um, literally I hadn't even drunk my first one yet I'm just doing a load of reviews first beer for two weeks so it's very subdued on the aroma, but on the palate, it's just like it's like drinking. It's just so velvety smooth coffee. And if you left this and woke up the next day in the morning and you're half asleep and like ah, oh, coffee, cold, cold coffee, it's just it's what it is. There's no alcohol burn, there's, there's none of that, it's just nothing. Very impressive beer. There's no kind of harshness on it. The bitterness is very low, although it's saying it's 60, you ain't picking that up. A lot of people are put off by big bitterness in beers. But as I said, this is aged slightly. I don't know how long it's been in the bottle. But it's certainly, what did I say it was? 26th of May. So we're May, June, July, August. So we're about a week shy of three weeks out of, out of three weeks, three months out of date. So, yeah, that's fantastic stuff. So I'll give it one more taste. Tasty stuff, that. Dark fruits. There's a slight kind of raisiny quality coming through there's a little bit of sweetness there's a little commercial description let me just quickly give you that if I can read um, the coffee coffee lovers uh, uh, I can't even say that word so that's a good start isn't it I don't know why I do it to myself there you go um, brewed with an abundance of, of flaked oats bitter and imported chocolates and Sumatra and Kona coffee this stout has an intense fresh roasted java nose topped with a frothy cinnamon coloured head that goes forever and that's something I've really picked up although it's gone down quite a bit now but I'm sure if I swirl it around for 10-20 seconds not that I can't be bothered really but just to show you look at that it just reinforced it straight away to a, a quarter of a finger ahead impressive I'm having another taste That's special. That's really damn nice. It's not the most intense coffee beer that I've ever had, by not by a long stretch. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it, it's just very balanced. Nothing's overpowering the other. Cracking stuff. Um, but saying that, I'm still giving it a 10 out of 10. It's absolutely fantastic. Impressive stuff. So, if you've had this beer from Founders, I um, can't remember, I should know where they're out of really, but uh, if it's going to let me. Yeah, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Let us know your thoughts and opinions if you've had this fantastic beer. Um, hopefully I can get some more of this, but it's going to be touch and go, I think, in the UK. But if you know that there's anywhere that, that sells this regularly and gets it regularly, or... To distribute into the UK let me know that would be really cool put it down below and let other people know as well thanks for watching then if you're new to our channel please subscribe um, I'll put a little playlist of founders beers it's mainly KBS's from other years so I've yet to do this years yet so thanks for watching then and I'll see you on the next review cheers <laughs>